Hi friends, this is 8th uh, part of the video series uh, on how to create a 3D game. In this video, I'll be uh, shifting my attention to uh, to this software which is called uh, 3ds Max. And um, because we'll be uh, using this software a lot for modeling and for animations. And um, that's why I, I thought I must... Um, tell you something about that okay so when you will install and run that software it would it would look like this okay so <coughs> it will have um, a toolbar here um, menu bar here and a viewports here these are called a viewports okay this is the front viewport this is top viewport this is left viewport and this is perspective viewport and um, towards right side you have um, these uh, buttons in here by choosing this button here create button and then choosing geometry button and then selecting standard primitives you can um, uh, you can create uh, a box by clicking and dragging you can create a box in your scene and here you see uh, the front view of this box here you see the top view of this box and here you see in the left view of this box and currently this is showing us the wireframe mode you can uh, go ahead and click this wireframe to smooth plus highlights as uh, as it's uh, done in uh, the perspective view and you can always uh, use other flat and lots of other um, views here okay and you can always change the properties of this box from uh, from here okay you can always do that you can always change the name of this uh, object which you have created and uh, obviously the color of this box you can create lots of other things like cone, sphere, uh, cylinder, tube and lots of other things <coughs> because this um, 3ds max is very very powerful software it has almost everything uh, you need to model uh, anything you want like you can model cars in it fans in it uh, you can model buildings in it and you can um, model a whole scene in this software okay um, if you're um, if you are if you are uh, uh, interested in uh, uh, modeling uh, 3d buildings you can do that you can find uh, doors in here uh, here you have drawn a door and you can let me see if I can open it yes you can open and close that door and you have lots of things like uh, you have um, AEC extended uh, extending extended thing in here um, by using by using it you can create walls and you can draw a whole home for you okay so there are lots of things in uh, this software which you can do okay so because this software is so much powerful for for modeling purposes so that's why I will be using this software for uh, modeling our things okay so now you have seen what are the viewports and how to create uh, objects in it and you can always as you can also see above here in in the toolbars you can select this one and you can move your object you can rotate your object you can scale your object down and higher lower along y-axis along z-axis and along x-axis and you can always um, scale it like that as well okay you can do lots of things in in here and let me tell you some things down here this orbit 
is used to orbit around your whole scene which you have created this uh, zoom button here allows you to zoom in and zoom out and this will zoom zoom again okay this button is also used for zoom zooming purposes and you can always uh, click this button and pan around so uh, I hope you have um, learned something in this video about this software um, we'll uh, be modeling uh, some of our uh, some of our game objects in it and then we'll be bringing them to our unity software and then we will be using them there so see you in the next next video and we will be start writing our first game from the next video uh, maybe i'll talk something more about unity and then we'll start making our game thank you for watching